I'll be honest, I, we didn't make a ton of adjustments in that first half. <laughs> no, I'm saying that we didn't. I didn't think we approached that you know, the, the first half like, like we wanted to. Um, you know, the first quarter in particular where, you know, we were just kind of trading baskets. Uh, you know, we talked about the, the last seven minutes of the fourth quarter. Of course, there's a sense of urgency because you're down, but uh, just the level of intensity we played with. I mean, to me, that's got to be how we start the game. Uh, you know, we, I thought we eased our way into the first quarter, got better in the second, tried again in the, the start of the half, you know, in the second half rather. And it was kind of that same malaise. And just like at some point, fellas, let's go. Um, so I'm glad to see us respond and finish the game we did. But we shouldn't put ourselves in that position, you know, to be down 28 and have to, you know, claw our way back into the game. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's never easy, um, you know, but I thought a lot of that we hurt ourselves, you know, the, the turnovers. I mean, that those are some to some degree controllable. Um, 18 turnovers for 24 points is it's tough to win any any night, you know, regardless of who's on the floor. Um, you know, you wind up beating yourself. So, you know, I think that's an area of just uh, concentration, just being uh, in the right spot and not trying to play in crowds or do too much. Um, reading and assessing how, how teams are guarding you and not forcing plays. But um, it, it was everybody. It's not just one person. Um, the vast majority of those guys, uh, those turnovers were from our starters. Of the grouping, which might be the most, I guess, global timeout during the timeout, that role, what uh, I mean, there were, there were different guys throughout. Uh, we need more of it. You know, I think that's important. Um, you know, we don't have a full rotation right now. So I think there, there's still some guys trying to figure out, well, how do I fit in? But um, take onus of it, you know, take ownership. And, you know, when you when you don't like something, say something. Uh, I think it's important. That level of accountability is, is something we're striving for. Uh, you know, I thought Craig was great, you know, and we've seen him and we know that that's what he's capable of doing. He's... He's going to play with energy. He's going to try and defend and guard. Um, you know, he, he gives great effort. And I thought he, he impacted the game. Chase. Hey, Wes. Um, you know, you had Denny Abdia guarding Jimmy Butler uh, tonight. He's, um, you know, been guarding Tobias Harris, Donovan Mitchell, Kimball Walker. Seems like you guys are trusting him with some really tough defensive assignments. Um, wh why do you feel uh, you have that trust in him to guard those types of players? Well, he's shown his ability to do it. Um, you know, that's the bottom line. Um, I give him a lot of credit. You know, a lot of nights he's, he's done a terrific job. He struggled a little bit early, got in foul trouble. Um, and, and that just, you know, goes back to the, the hand discipline, being mindful of uh, that's what Jimmy does. He initiates a lot of contact and uh, gets to the line and, so you just got to be mindful of it and be prepared to absorb some of that contact without getting your hands over the ball. Uh, but he struggled at, you know, at, at times tonight with that. Uh, and I thought he got sidetracked. He let some of those defensive lapses, I think, I think affect him on the other end. Um, but, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge. You know, people forget he's a second year player and we're asking him to guard all stars. So, um, you know, it's not going to be great every night. I don't expect it to be, but I think there's growth. Uh, the more he does it. He'll have a comfort level with guarding those marquee matchups and understanding, you know, personnel tendencies. Uh, it's only going to make him better. And what do you think about the three-point battle tonight, um, the way they were able to break through, but also the way you you guys were able to break through? Well, uh, my biggest, you know, worry or frustration was with who shot uh, the volume of, of three of their threes. You know, the two guys that we said, hey, are chase, chase guys, runoff guys. Um, you know, we got detached, we gave up some separation, we lost them at times, um, you know, they're, they're going to make tough shots regardless, but you know, they, they were able to get some easy looks early, which I thought got them going. Um, and that's what we wanted to try to avoid. Gosh. Coach, what, what's your overall take on how your team responded to Miami's, uh, physicality and, um, I don't know, scrappy approach? Uh, at, at times, I thought we were, were, were solid. At times, I, you know, I thought it, it bothered us. Um, 
I mean, I, that's where just overall, you know, um, our mindset and our overall uh, growth in that area. We, we've seen that happen a number of times this year. Um, and we have to be able to withstand that. Um, and we, we talked about it before the game. I mean, understand what's coming. We can't uh, think we're just going to match that energy. We have to match and exceed it. You know, and I thought at times we were able to, and at times we, we didn't. And what it seemed like, and maybe you probably will have a different opinion, it seemed like they had a lot of uh, easy drives to the hoop. Yeah, they did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they did. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, go ahead. I'm sorry. Why? Why? Why did you Why did you think that 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 was tonight? Uh, I mean, part of it is you know, and we made that point as well. Is don't let the their, their ability to shoot the ball um, distort our defense. We still got to get to our cover spots. We still have to show bodies and show crowds. We can't let um, them see open driving gaps, you know, because it's hard to guard one on one anybody. Um, and, you know, I think they started to make shots early. So we started to kind of hug up too much uh, to our own and not get back to, you know, shrinking the floor, showing crowds and taking away some of those driving gaps. Thank you. Neil. Hey, Coach, obviously you were shorthanded tonight, had to use four guys off the bench that you know, don't get a lot of NBA minutes. What do you think of them so far, and what do you think are like the immediate correctables going into the next game? Well, I know I give those guys a lot of credit. You know, uh, We weren't asking them to do a ton, but the fact that they're here, available, um, you know, trying to do the right thing, and it, it's tough. You know, this is a tough environment to begin with, but you know, not having practice and um, you know, just doing a ballroom walkthrough. You know, we're asking guys to... Um, be locked into terminology, personnel, and understand, you know, some of our basic offense, that's tough to do. Um, you know, and I give them credit for, you know, put forth the effort they did. Um, and they'll get better. You know, I think just, you know, getting more reps and getting more comfortable, it, it, it takes time. Um, you know, it's, it's tough. But, you know, two of those guys I just met this morning. <laughs> so it, that's just the nature of it. And obviously, it's a you know fluid situation. You guys hope that Brad might be available to you tonight. Do you think that there's a better chance of him being available to you next game? Uh, I hope so. Um, I'll just have to wait and see what uh, uh, the results bring. But I, I, honestly, I, I think it's still up in the air. But I, I'm hoping, obviously, that we'll get, have him and Pope available. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels back. Thank you. Rafael? Coach, um, you guys had a tough first half and a third quarter, but in the fourth, you guys dominated with 39 points. What was the game plan for that fourth quarter? Well, I mean, it, it goes back to that sense of urgency. Um, you know, we had to make one, one last push. We were down double digits, and you know, I think about four or five minutes to play, you know, you, you have to speed them up a little bit. You know, we have to maybe take some shots at – aren't great shots, but we have to get more and more possessions to see if we can cut into their, uh, to, to that margin. You know, we were able to do that for the most part. Um, I think we were, had a chance to cut it to uh, five uh, and miss the free throws, but, you know, I, I applaud the effort. We got down 28. We could easily just fold it. Um, uh, and we didn't. So, you know, that's silver lining and a tough, tough loss, but, you know, it, it hopefully something we can, can build on with this group going forward, because you know, we don't know for sure when we'll get guys back. We're hoping, obviously, by Thursday. But if not, you know, this is the group we'll go with. Um, Hero and Duncan Robinson tonight combined for 57 points and a 13 from 23 from the 3.9. What defensive changes can you do for the next game versus the Heat? And don't let them shoot threes. I mean, I know that sounds, you know, simplistic, but that, that was the game plan. Run them off the line. You know, stay connected, make them play inside the three. Easier said than done. They're really good players. Um, and that's what they do. That's how they impact winning. But um, to your point, the volume and the ease at which they got those looks is, is a bit concerning. Uh, well, we have to do a better job. There's no question. Hopefully it's a, it's a learning experience for, for Corey, you know, on both ends, you know, how to guard those guys and also take some of uh, what they do offensively and apply that to his game. Uh, we just got to go out there and just play hard and really have fun. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, just a tough situation for not just us, every team in the league. 
you know, the, the NBA is at a record high of players that played in the league, you know, with these hardship deals. And, um, you know, that's a great thing. You know, guys get opportunities. But on the uh, flip, flip side is, you know, it's just so many uh, revolving door moving parts, um, you know, to figure out from a chemistry standpoint and to, you know, you, you kind of never know who's going to be out there, you know, on a night to night basis. And it's extremely tough. But, um, you know, it's, it's not no pity party. Every team in the league has dealt with it, some worse than us. So um, there's that, yeah. I understand there's, like, kind of a level of fairness because everybody deals with it. But, like, is it, do you have to go back and think, wow, these games right now are really counting in this stretch, this month, is going to be really a good competition? Uh, I mean, every every game counts, you know. If you don't have your team, it still counts. You know, it's not preseason. So, you know, every night, you know, it's going to be a tough opponent every single night, and especially for us. It doesn't get easier. You know, obviously we got, you know, a nice little home stand, but, you know, still tough teams in this NBA. Anybody can win on any night. So, um, you know, we got a nice telling stretch about, you know, how our season is going to be right now um, coming up. So. Um, I mean, you know, just what we've kind of been all year, you know, we've been resilient in, in, in stints. And uh, I think that was one of the stints that, uh, you know, we showed, you know, some heart, but it shouldn't have got to that point. You know, it started with us in the first half, you know, coming out a little sluggish. And then, you know, third quarter, you know, which has kind of been our Achilles heels all year. And, um, you know, just can't let that happen, you know, coming down, Duncan Robinson getting hot and, you know, the lead just, you know, went, went up. So it's tough. I mean, it's tough. It's just a lot of mental, a lot of mental reps because, you know, right now we can't get into the gym, you know, can't practice, can't get out of the gym on your own. You know, can't get extra shots, uh, tough to lift. You know, that's just the name of, you know, what type of time we're in in this world and society. You know, it's uh, it's unfortunate, obviously, because in the season, you're just so used to, you know, if you don't have practice, you're able to come in and get shots in and work on your game and stay sharp. But, uh, you know, there's a dilemma there with that right now, so. Neil. Hey, Kuz. Obviously, you know, a lot of guys out. Is the pregame talk to you from Wes, if you guys have any talk that, hey, you know, you be aggressive as much as you can. You know, you have the green light. What is that conversation like? I mean, it's never really a conversation about having a green light. I mean, it's all about just trying to play basketball the right way. Uh, you know, obviously, you want to be aggressive, especially with a team like Miami. They're going to be aggressive um, defensively. So, you know, for us, we had to come out and, you know, just be in attack mode. And, um, you know, I think we did that for the most part, 100%. You know, we just had uh, self-inflicted wounds, whether it was second chance points and offensive rebounds. And, you know, we had some turnovers, um, you know, and it kind of fucked us, so. Now, obviously, you know, a lot of guys dealing with, you know, whatever illness and however sim much symptoms they're dealing with, you kind of just dealt, dealt with that. Do you reach out at all and try and like comfort in any way or do you just kind of let them be? I mean, we have a team group chat and, um, you know, after every game, you know, whether it's Brad Pope, somebody, um, whoever's out, you know, we, we all hit the chat and, um, you know, whether it's stay in there or next man up or good job, fellas, um, you know, we, we always have that dialogue as a team. So, Thanks, Goose. Safe travels back. Mm -hmm. Josh? Kyle, how did you feel like the team handled Miami's physicality tonight? Uh, we didn't handle it too well. And like I said, you know, I think uh, just felt like Omer Yurt 7, you know, killed us on the boards. I don't know how many rebounds he had, but, you know, he had some real key ones, um, you know, especially in that fourth and, you know, just throughout the game in a whole. Um, 
you know, they really uh, impose their will on us uh, from a defensive standpoint and, you know, really getting into our shit, and, uh, you know, making us work, pushing off, pushing us off the block, pushing us, you know, uh, where we want to usually catch the ball to get into our offense. Um, they dictated that. And, uh, you know, that just can't happen. You know, we know coming into the game, Miami, that's their identity. That's what they're known for. And coming in, we know that, but, um, you know, we kind of just let it happen. Uh, various um, nuances throughout the game. How does, how does a team uh, reduce the, the instances of that happening? How, how, do you, how does a, a group go about changing that or eliminating that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you got to be fucking tough. You know, we know it's going to happen. Um, can't bow down to it. You know, you got to, you just, I don't know, you just got to get in there and get in the mix, you know, and, um, you know, we did it a little bit. We definitely did it a little bit, but wasn't sustainable throughout the 48 minutes of the game. So there's that. It's not easy, of course, but I think uh, the guys that were put in that situation, they, they did the best they could. They, they brought the energy and uh, I think, uh, it's even tough with the names now. <laughs> it was like, uh, Craig, yeah, Craig, he, he did a really good job. Like, even though he got, picked up some fouls, but he, he came in with energy and uh, made some plays on both ends of the floor. And, like, it's, it's good to have, like, some guys coming in, like, since, you know, in this situation, whether we're not playing or we have guys coming in. And you can see that they're taking advantage of the opportunity. They're going to give everything they have. And... That kind of gives a little bit of boost to everybody else too. Uh, honestly, I don't even know you can make any adjustments. Like it's on defensive end is as much as you can just communicate and, and help each other out in that way. It's, it's understandable that not everybody's going to know like immediately what to do. And on the opposite side on offense, it's just the more you're sharing the ball, the more the ball, you know, it's not even so much about the plays. And uh, I think even we had like some guys that haven't been here, like they've been here for less than 24 hours and uh, we still got some good looks. Maybe it didn't knock the shots down, but we got open looks. And uh, yeah, I think it was in some way uh, probably better than I expected. Uh, no, not really sitting on the phone all day. And, uh, I think this morning we just, we had a team meeting, uh, and we just found out right before the meeting started because we have the test results from last night coming in the morning. So that's basically it. Just, like, yeah, I think it was just on the fly. There's this guy coming, then there's this guy coming. Like, so those are the things that more comes off of Twitter than anybody else because, you know, no one's really sending out memos that, that we, we got a new player every 15 minutes. For you, I guess, is there more opportunity as one of the very few guys who is a regular rotation player? Do you have to speak up more? Do you have to kind of step into that leadership role? No, I think it's just, uh, as I said, uh, all the guys that are on the team from basically day one, from the beginning of the season, uh, we all got to do that. We got to help out everybody else uh, just so they can understand as quick as possible what we we're supposed to do on, on both ends of the floor. Are you just doing one on one? Any questions for oh. Davis? Josh? Davis, how did you feel like uh, your team dealt with Miami's physicality? Um, Trying to get you off your spots, their 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 active hands, that sort of thing. Well, since we lost the game, I guess the answer is not good. <laughs> That's all I can say right now. You know, uh, I don't know what I can add to that. Thank you, Christos. Hey, Davis, hope you're doing well. You it could hear me? be more than like a Yeah, I'm, I can hear you. 
Like okay. Uh, fuck. I have a question. I need to give you that quick. Uh, well, I would like to ask you, um, how do you feel physically and men- uh, mentally this season after the, the beginning of the season? How do you feel right now, now about well, your game and about the team's game? I think this helped a little bit, <laughs> but. You know, it's like it's a tough situation in the season, and, and for all the teams, uh, I think some of these games you can't really look at them as regular. You know, you don't look at it like if you lose one or two in this situation, you have have, have the team out and have the team players are new. You don't look at it as you know if you had a ten game losing streak, well, you have just players rotating in and out like that's a different losing streak that you have the same team from day one until you know there's such losing streak so you just keep playing well basically we're not gonna have any practices until we have some stretch of a time where nobody tests positive so you just go in a game play as hard as you can and and hopefully that's enough And playing without uh, Bradley, playing without uh, Raul, playing without Montrezl, what did you learn about uh, your team? I, just, I don't know what I can answer. Uh, you know, the, the players that have been here, we all know what they do, what they're capable of. Sometimes they get less opportunities. Now there's there's opportunity for some guys to get more shots. But... I don't think there's anything new that I'll learn about Spencer, Kuz, or or Denny, or Gaff in this situation. Like that's that's the things they can do, and uh, they get more opportunities. Thank you very much. Last question, Neil. Hey, Davis, can you take us through last game? You know, you guys, you know, having a tough time against Philadelphia last time out. You know, you and Denny. You know, I don't know if it's miscommunication or What is kind of the point you got across, and then what did Wes address afterwards? Yeah, I'm, I'm here to talk about this game. You know, that was three days ago. 